Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My sister got me this awesome chair from a thrift store and so I'm just designing a little small diorama around it. I have some brick paper which I printed out from a long time ago and also the flooring pill and stick that's from Dollar Tree. I am using as much scrap as I can so I found this piece of diorama that actually has a window already cut from it. And so I'm just going to use that and fill in the bottom piece right there. Ignore this part. This is where I measured wrong. This is where I'm just showing you how cute a little corner like this would look. I didn't do this, but I do think it looks cute. So I like to use double stick tape. It's very easy and mess free, but I didn't get a lot of it. And I ended up running out halfway through the project. So I was able to do this much, but I knew I couldn't do anything else without more double stick tape. Now I usually don't get this brand, but the brand I get, um, they were out of it. So yeah, now I'm just measuring the window and I should have left, I shouldn't have cut the brick from the gap, but I did. So now I just have to fill that in. I'm using a random piece of cardboard and I capped off the top of it because otherwise it would look like the raw edge of the cardboard. I have this easy window DIY in Reels and on Instagram. You just take uh, some washi tape and a picture frame and then you tape over the picture frame with the washi tape for the lines, the grid lines of the window. It's really easy and it comes out looking great as you can see. Using another piece of scrap foam board, I'm going to make the floor and what I'm going to do is just Put this down in the middle of it so that I can glue the diorama walls around it. So this is how it's looking so far. I must say it looks rather nice and I'm just testing out how the chair looks in there and I'm just testing out places to put the door and I will say that looks so nice. I have a little sunbeam that I've caught there and I'm testing out how Ken fits in the chair and he fits really nice. And I haven't attached the door at this point, but I'm just seeing how it would look next to the window. I thought this other scrap piece of diorama would make for a nice roof, but I use it as a wall, as you will see in a bit. This is a box. Um, I don't know what to call it right now. I didn't finish the other side because it was originally for a corner. And I'm just seeing how it would look. I have to add a piece to it to uh, make it look nice. So I am just putting the popsicle sticks and my glue gun started doing this and I haven't bought another one, but obviously I don't recommend that glue gun. So I just had to use tacky glue and then I used some clamps from Dollar Tree and some masking tape to secure it in place. While that is drying, I'm going to glue down the door. I don't really like using disappearing purple glue because I feel like it tints the paper purple sometimes, but it turned out fine. So that's what I did. To give my wood pieces that stained look, I just use antiquing wax because there's no fumes and it dries really fast. So this was the point of my confusion because I thought this would actually make an outside type of stoop or porch. Um, I've added the white uh, tri window wall. And I think it looks really nice, so I'm not sure if I'm going to cover it with brick or not. And where I'm pointing, I might add like a wall of faux like boxwood, but I don't have that wall yet, so I don't know. Um, I think I can do either art. So the next day, I went on Pinterest and printed out more papers that I would need. And I've saved that to a board on my Pinterest, and it's going to be linked down below. I printed on tabloid size paper, and I set the margins to zero for the best result. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss part two.